I'm gonna talk about something I've been talking about for years and maybe I'm like a broken record, but I don't care because this needs to be said again and again. And if you're retaking the exam, you need to hear this. I was reminded of this advice recently after talking to a student who recently passed after a very long journey of taking the exam. So as a retaker, you know that score report that you get, the one that gives you your percentages in each section. Well, it is in my experience that many people use that feedback to inform what they study and don't study for their next attempt. And that seems like a reasonable strategy. Focus on your weak areas, less focus on what appears to be strong areas, except actually it turns out that it isn't a good strategy. What happens to students who use the score report this way is they experience a score flip-flop, meaning the previously high areas decrease and the areas that got extra push increase. I've seen these graphs and it's a literal flip-flop. So what this tells us is that studying isolated areas doesn't necessarily work and getting into a repeated pattern of not passing the exam could be the product of lacking that that global understanding, how all the pieces come together. So to pass, you shouldn't be strong in some areas and weak in other areas. There should be relative strength in all the areas because they are all connected and a weakness in any task list section could hurt other things other sections. Think about ethics connected to every section and a weakness isn't just about the code, it's about ethical assessment, ethical behavior change, ethical measurement, etc. And this can be said for all the sections and how they're connected. So the advice is this, study like a first timer, study everything again, find a new way, but study it all like first timers do. Ignore the score report, cover all the bases again. I know this feels daunting and annoying, but think about it. If you wanna beat those low retaker odds, the only way is if you're a first time test taker. So be that again. And how do you do that? Well, you behave like a first timer. Do what first timers do. They don't have score reports and they study everything. And if you're a first timer, you're gonna double your odds. You got this.